Hello everyone. Welcome to the second match of this doubleheader at the St. Elizabeth Technical High School where the Jamaica Under-23 Olympic squad is about to take on a St. Elizabeth All-Star team. I've been your match commentator for the day, Lance White, and the coverage is brought to you by JFF TV. We have more football for you here today. Earlier we witnessed the kickoff in the JFF National Super League where earlier we witnessed St. Best blowing away Alligator Pond by five goals to one. And if this match is anything like that one, we're in for a treat. So, the teams are out, and we're just we're just waiting on the meeting party to finish greeting the players, so we can get this one underway. It's about 10 minutes past 8 and it's a cool evening here in Santa Cruz. There are a number of fans out to support today's match as it's a part of a fundraising event being put on by the JFF to aid players who previously played for the national senior team who have now fallen on hard times, you know, experiencing some physical, mental or other disabilities so it's all for a good cause and it's good to see such great support also this match is being used as preparation for the under 23 squads olympic campaign they'll be aiming to qualify for the tokyo 2020 olympic games the jamaica under 23 squad has never qualified for the olympic games so this is them trying to make history a lot of talented players will be on show here today. A lot of these players play their trade in the local Premier League for some of the best clubs in the country. The under-23 reggae boys will be sporting the famous gold strip while the saint elizabeth all-star team will be wearing a blue strip with the white at the sides and the teams are out now with the reggae boys just having a little huddle before the match gets underway probably saying a final word of prayer giving some final words of encouragement and the referee is ready to get this one underway, signaling to the players that they need to hurry up and get on with it. The St. Elizabeth All-Star team is out and ready. And we're underway with the St. Elizabeth All-Star team kicking from right to left in the first half. They're in possession now. Tevin Shaw on the ball now finds Venton Evans. Evans advances with 
Ricardo Thomas making a bursting overlapping run. It's Thomas on the ball. He swings in the cross. It's cleared at the near post. Under 23 reggae boys just breaking down that attack with Tevin Shaw advancing. Now it's Kahim Paris on the ball. Plays it back to Shaw. Just a quick run through of the starting lineups for both teams. For the under 23 reggae boys, we have JD White in goal. The rest of the starting lineup is made up by Nick Lloyd Dinham, Ricardo Thomas, Ajani Talbot, Jamai Topi, Tevin Shaw, Chevon Willis, Kahim Paris. Daniel Green, Venton Evans, and Alex Marshall. The St. Elizabeth All-Star team is made up of Mark Bryan, Jamil Hardware, Luca Levy, Kamoy Simpson, Janiel Barnes, Leonard Ranking, Chavon Marsh, Sheldon McCoy, Jeremy Nelson, Javard Dennis, and Malcolm Lumsden. On the 23 side on the attack now, but it's broken down. And it's a throw into the St. Elizabeth All Star team. Over on the far side, it's taken by Clifton Woodbine. Dragon Boys regain back position. Now it's with Kahim Paris who plays it back to Dinham. Dinham just getting it caught under his feet a bit and has the play back to White in goal.
Luca Levy with the pass and Levy back on goal, back on the ball now. It's Nelson who spreads it wide to Woodbine, or it's Rankin rather. Rankin over the top, looking for the run. And it's a shot from way out. That one was well struck. White with a long kick, and he found Venton over on that far side. Green wins the free kick for the under 23 reggae boys. Lums then with the interception, but Talbot comes across to clear that one. Din Dinham looking for the through ball to Alex Marshall there, but it's well defended. Down to 23 reggae boys still put him under pressure though, and Marshall retrieves this one. It's Chevon Willis. Who brought that one to the corner and won a throw in for his side? Willis takes the throw in quickly to find Dinham. Dinham on the ball now. Who will he find? He finds Shaw. Shaw spreads it to Jamoy Topi, who is well advanced in the opposition half. Ricardo Thomas took his eyes off the ball on that occasion. Well, it slipped for a throw into the St. Elizabeth All Stars. The under 23 reggae boy is holding a very high line though. This may be something that the under 20, that the St. Elizabeth All-Star team could look to exploit. Strong challenge by Talbot on Lumsden. Now the through ball for Green to chase. He has Kahim Paris in support. He does find Paris. Now it's Dinham, back to Paris. Paris coming inside, but he's closely attended to by two players, and it's Chevon Marsh who is fouled. Marsh fouled by Willis, right in the center circle. Nice control there from Barnes. Barnes trying to find Lums then, but Shaw intercepts that one. It's Jamil Hardware to Levy. Hardware looking for to third that one through for Lums then. Or Mar Marsh rather, but ball over the top, but no one was making that run. Topi, who was recently participating in the under 20 CONCACAF Championship with Jamaica, who was very outstanding in that tournament, scoring a number of goals. It's back with Topi now. He can be a real threat in the opposition's penalty area. He's a defender that does strike the ball very well as he can defend it. Very composed in position as well. With a decent passing range. Now it's with Evans, the former JC Manning Cup player, Ajani Talbot. Trying to find Ricardo Thomas, but that one was well read and intercepted. Top will map up 
Back to Jaden White. White, who would be in his final year with stats now. In the recently concluded Manning Cup season, he made it all the way to the semi finals with him before losing out to eventual champions Kingston College. Now it's back with Barnes. Barnes is fouled by Paris. Barnes on the ball again. Linking up with Lums then. Now it's with Siobhan Marsh. Levy. Barnes again. Paris going in strong on Marsh and the last touch came off Marsh so it's a throw into the under 23 reggae boys. Dinham will play it back to Talbot. Talbot looking for options for the pass, so didn't see any, so he opted to go along. That one headed into touch by Simpson. Strong challenge on Marshall. Topi to Thomas. Thomas finds Evans. Now Evans linking up with Green. Still Thomas looking for the run of Evans. But Evans is offside. That was good. That was good link up play on the far side from the under 23 reggae boys. But Evans just made his run a bit too early. And the free kick goes to the, to the St. Elizabeth All-Star team who will look to come forward now in the shape of Levy. Chevon Marsh marauding down his left-hand side and he finds Barnes. He gets the return pass. It's still Marsh. Marsh with the cross in. Nice touch from... The shot's blocked. Swing on a miss. St. Elizabeth All-Star is coming close just now. But now the reggae boys can break. Simpson with the interception. Barnes again. Barnes has been seeing a lot of the ball over on this side. Hardware. Marsh again. Marsh comes wide to Barnes. Marsh with the overlapping run. Swings it in but it's well blocked by Paris. So it's a corner kick to the St. Elizabeth All-Star team. The All-Stars just stepping up the play in the last five minutes or so. Really rising the tempo and it's hardware who goes across to take this corner. The All-Stars have numbers up in the box, so Hardware will swing this one in. It's at the near post. It's cleared. It breaks. Shapes the shoot, goes around one, goes around. But Vent and Evans steals it back, and now they can break. Kahim Paris, he had to wait on that one, but showed a bit too much of it. To McCoy, and McCoy does well to win that one back from Paris. Leonard ranking with a lovely pass to find Hardware. Hardware looking for Lums then, but... It's intercepted by Talbot. Game being played at a very fast pace now. So Barnes is on the other wing now. Trying to find Marsh, but it's intercepted by Thomas. Now Green can come forward for the reggae boys. Shaw. Shaw finds Venton Evans, who goes back to Topi. Topi plays it to his central defensive partner, Talbot. Who plays it right across the line to Dinham. Now back into Willis. Shaw. Thomas cuts inside and is taken out. It's a free kick to the reggae boys.
Thomas has stayed down after that challenge. His teammates just going over to check on him, but seems as if he'll be okay. He's back on his feet now. Probably just a bit winded after that collision. Evan swings this one in. That one had good shape on it. That's Paris at the back post, but it won't make its way through to him. It's claimed by Brian in goal. White playing that one over the top for nice move there from Dinham. Ricardo Dennis swings that one in and White claims gratefully. Thomas goes up for the header, but it only falls to Marsh. Marsh running at the defense, and he has a shot. It's a tamed effort. And White will deal with that one with minimal fuss. White opts to go long, looking for green, but it's intercepted. Brilliant effort there, and White did just enough to tip it over. It's a corner kick to the All-Star team, and it's Siobhan Marsh who will go across to put this one into the box. Both teams showing good attacking intent early in this first half. The scoreline is still nil all ahead of this corner between the under-23 Olympic squad and the St. Elizabeth All-Star team here at the St. Elizabeth Technical High School football field in Santa Cruz. Marsh with the corner. Heads go up. It's cleared by Talbot at the near post, but it will fall to the All-Stars. Good tackle from Alex Marshall. Marshall finds green. Marshall supporting Green and there's Evans over on this wide side and he will find Evans. Evans in a glorious position. He skies it. Venton Evans with a glorious opportunity to put the under-23 reggae boys into the lead. But he lost his composure at the vital moment. He knows he should have done better with that one. It was a good chance for the Olympic squad. Marsh. Simpson. It's a foul on Luca Levy. Referee says the ball was still rolling. Referee not satisfied with the position that the free kick was taken from, so they'll take it again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
ball stolen by Paris, but McCoy wins it back. This one spread wide to Barnes. Evans coming across. Referee says Barnes received the ball in an offside position, or he was in an offside position when the ball was played to him. So it's a free kick to the under 23 reggae boys. Another foul, and it's a free kick to the reggae boys, taken by Thomas. Dinham with a nice touch. Now Evans. Evans plays it back to Dinham. Talbot. Down to 23 reggae boys. And there's that passing range from uh, Jamai Topi that I was talking about. Brilliant diagonal pass to find Venton Evans over on this far side. Evans cuts inside and plays it over the top looking for Paris, but too much on that pass from Evans. Gregor Boy seem to be employing a 4-2-3-1 formation. with Willis and Shaw at the heart of midfield and an attacking four but it's Paris Paris won't keep that one in goal kick to the All-Stars taken very quickly with Rankin but there's a stoppage in play as there's a player down for the St. Elizabeth All-Stars team Play on the far side receiving some treatment at this moment. It's still nil all here in the first half between the National Olympic squad and the St. Elizabeth All-Stars. Both teams enjoying some good possession and creating a few opportunities for themselves, but neither team finding that killer blow to break the deadlock just yet. Simpson finds Levy. Levy plays it across to Rankin. Rankin looking for Lums then. But that one just a bit out of his reach. McCoy. Nelson plays it back to Rankin and put in, puts him in a bit of trouble. Nice move from Green. Green sends it to the back post and it's Venton Evans with time and space. He finds Marshall. Marshall spins. Marshall again. Still Marshall. Shot blocked. Barnes plays it out to Marsh. Back to Brian in goal. Simpson. It's McCoy rather who plays it to Levy. No, it does come to Simpson. Levy. Barnes. Back with Kamai Simpson. Plays it across to Leonardo Rankin. Simpson. Over the top looking for Marsh. 
Dinham backpedaling to get a foot to that and put it out for a throw in. McCoy plays it to Rankin. Paris with the interception. Green is on his bike. Paris still going. Tra looking for Green, but didn't make its way through to him. Rankin linking up well with Brian to try and get out of trouble, but the pressure is put on. Evans gets a boot to it and it goes out for a throw in. Throwing is taken quickly. Marsh. Levy finds Rankin, who plays the one two. Jeremy Nelson playing himself in a bit of trouble. It's one good work from Tevin Shaw. Now it breaks to Kaheem Paris. Finds overlapping run off Ricardo Thomas. Still Thomas. Kaheem Paris with a turn. Daniel Green got under that one. It was a little bit of a scrap in the box and it broke to him. Before he curled that one over the bar. And there's a substitution for the St. Elizabeth All-Star team with number seven, Jamil Hardware, unable to continue. He's replaced by number 22, Slain Ricketts. Jeremy Nelson looking for the run of Ricketts. That was was looking the run, looking for the run of Dennis rather, but too much on that pass and it will go out for a throw into the under twenty three reggae boys. It's Thomas with the throw in who finds Willis. Willis to Marshall. Marshall tries to come inside, but he's closed down well by Rankin. Rankin in possession now. Marshall puts back on the pressure and it's a throw into the All-Star team. Levy and Dennis linking up well over on that far side and now it comes across to Jeremy Nelson. Nelson comes inside looking for Dennis but that's a misplaced pass and it will run through to White. Now it's with the Waterhouse left back, Ricardo Thomas, who goes on a run. Finds Kahim Paris. It's Daniel Green with the pace. Ricardo then is still making his run, but that one will go through to Brian in goal. Switched over to, to this near side to find Barnes. Ricketts turns and runs at his defender. Still Ricketts can he get the cross in. He does, but it's easily dealt with. Talbot with the clearance. Ooh. Ricardo Dennis over on that far side for the All-Stars. Finds Levy. Levy looking for an option, but it never came. One back by the Reggae Boys. Kahim Paris of Cavalier finds Thomas. And Willis plays it back to Talbot. Talbot finds Dinham over on this 
near side. Now it's Venton Evans of Portmore United. Willis to Thomas. It's Kahim Paris. Daniel Green. Leonardo Rankin, who plays for Cavaliers. Jeremy Nelson. That one will break to Leonardo Rankin. Malcolm Lumsden. Lumsden wins a free kick. Nelson spreads it out wide to Barnes. Barnes cuts inside. Nelson still Nelson looking for the return pass to Barnes, but it's read by down to 23 reggae boys. Shaw with the header to find Evans. Can Evans? He does find back Tevin Shaw. It's Shaw. No, it's Marshall. Still Alex Marshall. Marshall loses out. Talbot, Dinham, now it's Shaw, Shaw plays this, plays this one out to Evans who plays the one two, tempo of the game just cooling down a bit now after a hectic period. Jamai Topi. Displaying that lovely passing range again. And it's a mix up at the back. Well, I don't know what happened there, but there was obviously some miscommunication between McCoy and his goalkeeper. His blushes were spared though, because that one rolled just wide of his goal. It's a corner kick to the under 23 reggae boys. Corner swung in. Smith at the near post. Cleared out for another corner to the under 23 reggae boys. Alex Marshall going across to provide the short option, but. They'll opt against it, and the referee says get on with it. This one swung in by Kahim Paris. Good shape on it. Topi went up, but Rankin beat him to the head, and now the All-Stars can break. Ball played over the top by Jeremy Nelson. And he breaks to Rick Ricketts. Ricketts cuts inside. Still Ricketts. He plays it back. Lums then missed that one. Shaw will mop up at the back for the under 23 reggae boys. Shaw looking for the pass to Thomas and finds it. Now Green plays it to Willis. It's Jamai Topi calming things down at the back for the reggae boys. Daniel Green coming all the way back and he'll spread this one. Well, that's a loose pass. White's Campering to keep that one in, and he does manage to keep it in. Ajayni Talbot will bring it forward now. Paris trying to find Evans, but it's well intercepted by Simpson. Now Jeremy Nelson finds Ricketts. Ricketts, oh, strong challenge, oh, and a nice move. Nicolai Dinham showing his skill there and Alex Marshall through the middle. Couldn't find Green though. Now it's with Ricardo Dennis. 
Dennis looking for the run of Marsh on the back post, but Dinam is there again. Safety first, and he heads that one out for a corner kick. We'll have a few more substitutions before the end of the first half, and it's Daniel Green going across. He will be replaced also. Being replaced is Kahim Paris. Kahim Paris is replaced by Andre Leslie and Daniel Green is replaced by Deshane Beckford. Corner kick swung in by Marsh. Ricketts met it at the near post but couldn't keep it on target so it's a goal kick to the under 23 reggae boys. all about looking for options and he finds Willis Willis, Willis has runs in oh. Willis is past cannons off of the referee and it breaks to the all-star team what if they score from this the referee will be at fault for this surely Malcolm's shots blocked luckily for the referee that one didn't turn out into a goal now it's Evans Evans finds Deshane Beckford Beckford with his first touch and he goes past easily. Still Beckford. Couldn't get past the second challenge. Levy to Marsh. Marsh loses out to Marshall. The two Cavalier teammates. You know, it's Shot by Andre Leslie is blocked, but it does break back to Alex Marshall. Finds Vent and Evans. Evans with a cross, but there's no one on the back post. But it does break to Deshane Beckford. Beckford with a shot. Met at the near post by Brian. There's a scramble and eventually cleared. There's a whistle on the play. Referee signals for a corner kick to down the 23 reggae boys. It's taken quickly. Beckford back to Thomas. Thomas with the right foot to drive off the post and into the hands of the goalkeeper. Luck is on the side of the All Stars. That's a, that was a brilliant strike by Ricardo Thomas. And that one goes out for another corner kick to the under 23 reggae boys. That powerful drive by Ricardo Thomas just now cannoned off the far upright and ricocheted into the grateful hands of goalkeeper Brian. It's the same short corner routine from the reggae boys. I know it swung in. Topi rises highest to meet that one, but he can't keep it on target. Ricketts showing his pace. He's well watched by Willis though. He slips, still in possession. Can he get past Willis? Willis falls on the ball, but still Ricketts. Now the clearance will come from Talbot. <laughs> Referee breaks the play as 
Topi has gone down inside his own penalty box. Topi leaving the field of play after receiving some treatment. Play will continue with the under-23 reggae boys down to 10 players for the time being as Topi has gone off. Seems to be okay to continue though. Simpson plays it across to Woodbine. Woodbine, who has come on for Leonardo Rankin, both of them teammates at Cavalier. A number of Cavalier players on the field here today for both teams. And it's Ricardo Dennis. Nice move inside. Still Ricardo Dennis. Dennis plays it across. Probably should have had the shot. The opportunity is gone now. Marshall linking up with Evans and Will is coming across to help out Alex Marshall to Willis. It's a bad back pass. Luckily it didn't result in anything too serious from the back pass from Willis with the referee bringing the first half to an end here. At the end of the first half, it's under 23 Olympic squad, nil, and the St. Elizabeth All-Star team, nil. Still yet to find a breakthrough in this match, but it's been entertaining so far. And we wouldn't bet against there being a goal in the second half. The players are back out for the start of the second half with the reggae boys getting the ball rolling and that's the whistle from the referee Thomas Talbot plays it to Evans Evan switching it and finds Willis. Good touch from Beckford and plays it back to Topi. Topi plays it across to Dinham. Dinham plays the one two with Willis. Back to Willis. Evans quickly closed down by Barnes. That's Gadiel Irving, rather, in the number three. It's a yellow card. Yellow card being showed to Luca Levy for a foul on Nicolai Dinham. And the play gets back on the way. It's a late challenge on... Uh, Tevin Shaw, who is still down, but play continues with the reggae boys still in possession. Mm. 
nice bit of skill there by the player trying to keep that one in on the far side. Eh? But it's Morgan who couldn't keep it in. Topi. Willis finds Andre Leslie. I know it's Alex Marshall who will spread it out wide to the Shane Beckford. Still Beckford. Beckford cuts inside. Beckford making a run. Tries to find Marshall. It's Beckford. Shouts for a penalty there. Woodbine with a clearance and now Marsh can break forward. Still Marsh going. Marsh trying to go all the way. Runs into Dinham who puts in a strong tackle. He breaks to Jamoy Topi who can come forward now. Topi just cooling down the tempo of the game. Finds Beckford. Ricardo Thomas was making a run down on this near side, but his run was ignored by Beckford, who wanted to go back inside. Thomas doesn't seem to be pleased with that decision at all. You never feel good when you make a long busting run and the ball doesn't even make its way over to you. So you can understand his frustration. But they'll get on with it. It's the St. Elizabeth All-Stars in possession now. Levy comes forward. Down played by Ricketts. And now it's recorded Dennis breaking through. Still Dennis. It breaks to Ricketts. Ricketts with the shot. Oh, that one whistled just wide. He dragged that shot a bit. He was aiming for the far post, but didn't strike it cleanly enough. It was J.D. White at full stretch. It would have been interesting to see if that one was on target, if he would have gotten a hand to it, but it's a goal kick to the under-23 reggae boys. There's a break in play as a player from the St. Elizabeth All-Star team stayed down. Back on his feet now, it's uh, Ricardo Dennis. Won't be needing any treatment. Play gets back on the way with Jamoy Topi on the ball now for the under-23 reggae boys. White spreads it out to Talbot. Venton Evans just dropping back in his half to link up with his defenders. Now it's Willis. Beckford making the run on this near side. Willis over dribbles and gives the ball away. To Horace Ramsey. It's Ramsey again. Ramsey spreads that one out wide. To Gadel Irving. Leave it to Irving. Shaw going in strongly. But Levy and Irving combine to keep possession. McCoy. McCoy finds Marsh. Marsh comes inside. Tries to play it through for the run of Dennis, but Topi was well positioned and dealt with that one. A few tackles flying in there. But the reggae boys emerge with possession before it's given away. Both teams just going through a bit of a scrappy period now. Neither settling on the ball really. And the ball played back all the way in defense for the under 23 reggae boys. It's back in the possession of Jamai Topi you now. Ricardo Thomas shouting for the ball on this near side. He makes a darting run down the flank. Still Topi going. He loses out. Jamai Topi ventured into the opposition's half just now. And the last possession, he knew he was out of position, so he made the foul. We'll have another foray of substitutions now, with the reggae boys making three. Leaving the field is Venton Evans, Tevin Shaw, and Alex Marshall. Coming in, we have... Nazim Matali Grant, Leonardo Gibson, and one 
Mosraro or Juan Mosaro. That one breaking to Chevron Marsh, who finds Ricketts. It's still Ricketts. Ricketts plays it to Levy. Levy is tackled up, and this one will come out to the far side to the Shane Beckford. Beckford ups the cut inside, and he finds Willis. Willis plays it. Nice ball through for the Shane Beckford. Beckford goes past his defender. Still Beckford. Beckford inside. And that one cleared by Clifton Woodbine. Corner kick swung in. That one met by Leonardo Jibison, but he couldn't direct it onto goal. Goal kick taken quickly by the All Star team. It's with Woodbine now and plays it to Dennis. One back by Gibson. Chase is on. Andre Leslie chasing that one all the way back to the goalkeeper. Woodbine trying to play that one down the line for Dennis, but couldn't get it under his spell. Nazim Matali Grant. No, it's Willis to Thomas. Thomas to Nazim Matali Grant. No, it's Beckford. Beckford rides the challenge. Still Beckford. Beckford with a shot, but drags it and misses at the near post. Beckford would, would have probably been better off trying to pick out one of the options in the box on that occasion, but he opted to go, go for it on his own. Pulled his shot at the near post. And it's Ray Campbell entering the field of play. Ray Campbell has replaced Ricardo Thomas in that left back position. Ball comes across to Ricardo Dennis, plays it back to Woodbine. Woodbine to Marsh. Now Levy. Marsh again. Ricketts. It's intercepted by Gibson. Back with Gibson. Comes forward. Good shot at the near post from Woodbine. Toby came across but he slipped and let Woodbine in. Woodbine with a left-footed shot. That one coming from his weaker left foot and it was on target at the near post, but it was well dealt with by the goalkeeper.
just a substitution update. It's Michael St. Edwards in goal now. He replaced J.D. White for the under-23 reggae boys. It's the St. Elizabeth All-Stars in possession now with Marshover on that far side, finds Levy, and he plays it inside to... Ball over the top. That's a lovely pass. Gets a cross in, and it's blocked. It's a corner kick to the All-Star team. It's still nil all here in the second half between the under-23 Olympic squad and the St. Elizabeth All-Stars. Both teams searching for that opening goal. The All-Stars in prime position to do that now with this corner kick. Can they make it count? Swung in by Levy. Met at the near post by Musaro. The reggae boy is breaking now with Leslie. He finds got stuck under his foot. Now it's Willis. Plays it out wide to Campbell. Campbell advancing. He has the run of Matali Grant in front of him, but he played that one a bit too much on that for Matali Grant to keep it in. So it's a goal kick to the all stars. We'll have another substitution for the under-23 reggae boys. It's number 14, Chevon Willis, who is replaced by uh, number 15, Jordan Fletcher. The Montego Bay United striker entering the game in the second half. Can he make the difference for the Olympic squad? Fletcher, who was a standout player for Cornwall College back in, I think the year was 2016 when they won the Dacosta Cup. Him and Peter Lee Vassell, a part of that team, as well as DeShane Beckford, who is also representing the Reggae Boys here tonight. Ricardo Dennis in possession for the All-Stars and he plays it back to number nine Horace Ramsey Woodbine now it's Marsh coming deep plays the ball through cross met at the near post and cleared another cross swung in it's dangerous St. Michael got a vital touch on that one. It was a dangerous cross. Whipped in right across the face of goal. Andre Leslie switches this one out to Ray Campbell. Good first touch from Campbell, who is closely attended to by Clifton Woodbine. He finds the Shane Beckford who turns and nice ball played through for Fletcher. Fletcher comes inside. Still Fletcher. Fletcher to Leslie. Leslie has a pop. It's blocked by Levy. Foul by Matali Grant on Ricardo Dennis. It's a free kick to the All-Star team. This is the score is still set at nil, but it's been by no means a boring game. We've had a lot of attacking football. Both teams have had their chances to go ahead. 
It's been a good game so far. All that it's missing is a goal. And I wouldn't rule one out just yet. It's a march in possession for the All-Stars. Now Ricketts, he plays it down the line and the cross will come in. Talbot with the diving header. And just about completes the clearance and now it's Beckford advancing for the Reggae boys. A drop off the shoulder and he comes inside. That's a brilliant through ball for Jordan Fletcher. Runs on to it. Crosses, but Cross is blocked at the near post. We'll have a corner kick for the Reggae boys, but first there's another substitution for the St. Elizabeth All-Star team. It's Chevon Marsh who will be replaced. Seems as though it's number seven, Jamil Hardware, who went off injured in the first half that has retaken the field of play. The injury seems to not have been as serious as first as we first predicted. It's good to see that he is able to continue. Snapshot by Leonardo Gibson, which sails over the top of the bar. Fletcher is through. He has options in the box, but he ups the cut back, plays it to Leslie. Now it's with Gibson. Gibson cuts inside. Still later on, Gibson plays it over the top, but it's into the hands of the goalkeeper. Ricardo Dennis is offside on that play. There, are, there has also been a change in goal for the All-Star team with Dennis Taylor replacing Mark Bryan. So it's Taylor in goal for the All-Stars now as we await the resumption of play. Meanwhile, there was another substitution for the Reggae Boys with number 16, Andre Leslie being replaced by number 10, Nicholas Nelson. Ball played through for Fletcher, but Taylor came came out to make a vital interception. Beckford was on the follow-up, but he couldn't bring it under his control, and the All-Stars managed to get the ball back to the half-line, but only for a possession to be turned over back to the Reggae boys. It's in possession of Talbot now, who has been a Fletcher with a shot. That one was dipping, but it didn't dip early enough. Not a bad effort from Fletcher. <laughs> Both teams eager to get on with play now, sensing that time is ticking away and we have yet to have a goal in this game. Woodbine. Dennis losing out. To Campbell. No, it's Gibson. Gibson was also a part of that under 20 squad which participated in the CONCACAF under 20 championship 
towards the end of last year. He scored a good goal against Mexico. Jamaica performing outstandingly in that game to secure a two-all draw. There's a man down on the field. Seems to be recorded Dennis, who has gone down for the All-Stars. Assistance is on its way, but he's back on his feet now. Dennis will go off. The substitution is made and it's Barnes who has retaken the field of play in, in place of Ricardo Dennis who goes off with an injury. If you're wondering why some of the players who have been substituted have retaken the field, it's because the squads aren't that big for these matches and the players are being rotated so some of them go out get a little rest and come back in as we have seen with hardware and no barns strong challenge by woodbine on campbell and referee whistles for a free kick Clearance made by Simpson. Fletcher is offside. Goalkeeper did well to come and claim that one, though. Horace Ramsey who did well to get himself out of a tricky situation just now. Sheldon McCoy switches it over to that far side to find Nazim Matali Grant who represents Montego Bay United. Ball switched over to that far side to find number 17, Neville Morgan. Barnes with an exquisite first touch. He goes past his defender. Jibison finds Beckford. Nice move from Beckford. He plays it over the top. Fletcher running onto this one, but... Taylor comes and does well. He was quick off his line to snuff out the danger. He sensed the play and read it well. Ran out to cover his defense. It's good goalkeeping from Dennis Taylor. Great pace being showed there. That was a, that was a good run from Neville Morgan who showed great pace to get down the outside and put in the cross, but it was equally met by a good clearance by Jamai Topi at the cost of a corner to the St. Elizabeth All-Star team, though, which is taken quickly. That one cannoning... That one cannons off of an uh, all-star player and goes out for a goal kick to the reggae boys. We have a break in play now though as a player has gone down 
in the box. It seems to be Nick Lloyd Dinham of the Reggae Boys, who is in a bit of bother now. He'll receive some treatment. Play gets back on the way now with the under 23 reggae boys having a goal kick. It's sent long. Nazim Matali Grant with a brilliant run, still going. Levy did well to come back and make the challenge. Barnes, closely attended to by both Beckford. Ray Campbell did well there. Finds Nicholas Nelson. It's a brilliant interception by Clifton Woodbine. Matali Grant finds Gibson. Gibson has the run of Dinham out wide. He uses him back to Din, back to Gibson rather. Matali Grant couldn't reach that one. Nicholas Nelson. The shot comes in from Matali Grant. That looks to be a shot in frustration. We'll have another substitution for the Reggae Boys, and it's number 20, Nick Lloyd Dinham, who was put in a good shift at right back, who will be replaced. He's replaced by number 16. Andre Leslie. The Reggae Boy is doing well to win that back note with Jordan Fletcher. He has the run, but he has to shoot. The goalkeeper spills that one, but does well to recover with Beckford bearing down on him. That was a strong shot from Jordan Fletcher, but it was straight at the goalkeeper. Hardware winning the free kick for the All Stars. Hardware plays it back to Nelson. Now it's with Jamil Hardware again. Hardware will spread it out wide to Woodbine. Woodbine finds Horace Ramsey. Ramsey shapes the shoot but fakes. Now he plays a wonderful through ball. Promising position. That was a vital interception at the near post. That tackle had to be made. 
It was Ajani Talbot who made the vital interception at the near post. Lums then was lurking at the back post. So if that one came across, it would have been a tap-in. It's a corner kick to the St. Elizabeth All-Stars, though, as they try to sustain this attacking momentum. Clearance completed by Matali Grant. Topi closed down quickly by Barnes. Breaks to Beckford. Juan Mosaro trying to play that one out wide for Leslie, but it's overhit, so it's a throw into the All Stars. St. Elizabeth All Stars in possession in the shape of. Levy. Levy switches it to Clifton Woodbine. It's a good ball looking for the run of Malcolm, but it's well dealt with with the reggae boys yet again. I must say the defensive play in this game has been equally good. That's a wonderful ball from the outside of the boot of the Shane Beckford. Jordan Fletcher doing everything he could to try and get around the defender, Sheldon McCoy, just now, but he had to foul him in the process. Free kick to the St. Elizabeth All-Stars taken quickly. Now it's with Ramsey. Levy sleeping on the ball and loses out to Matali Grant. Oh, that one. That one almost cleared the stands. Nicholas Nelson should have done better with that one. It was a wonderful opportunity. For the under 23 reggae boys after Levy was caught in position deep in his own half. <laughs> Topi plays it back to Michael St. Edwards. That one a bit of an aimless pass back to an aimless, I mean, an aimless pass forward rather from Masaru that ran right through to the goalkeeper. Reggae boys back in possession now with Gibson back to Masaru. Matali Grant plays the one two with Gibson. Leslie on that outside. No, it's Nicholas Nelson. Can he find a play in the box? Beckford with a flick. Matty Grant miss timing his shot just now. No, the All Stars can break. Gibson comes back to commit the foul. Free kick taken quickly though, and it's Jar it's Jamil Hardware who spreads it out wide. Barnes receives it and sends Woodbine on the overlapping run. Comes inside. It's intercepted. Now Beckford can break for the reggae boys. He has Jordan Fletcher ahead of him. Jimison's first touch let him down there and a foul call for a high boot after he was trying to recover from that first touch.
cross swung in, but it's dealt with by Talbot. Talbot finds Gibson. It's still Gibson. Gibson cools it down, passes it to Nelson. Nice to move there from Leslie. Leslie looking for Jordan Fletcher, but it's well intercepted. And it will come across now to Woodbine. Levy put under pressure by Matali Grant and McCoy. Finds Jeremy Nelson. The All-Star team adamant that they're playing this one out from the back. And Hardware eventually opts to go along with that one. And possession is immediately given back to the Reggae Boys. Now it's Matali Grant looking for Beckford. Still Beckford now. Matali Grant. It's Jordan Fletcher over on this near side. Finds Beckford. Beckford trying to go through two players there, but... He's ganged upon and they eventually win back the ball. Reggae boys keeping them in the corner though. And eventually win back possession. Now it's Beckford. Hardware to Barnes. The counter attack is on now. Barnes plays it back to Jamil Hardware. Hardware running at Ray Campbell. Finds Barnes' overlapping run. Barnes can swing in the cross now. It's a poor cross though and it's easily dealt with. Jibison finds Nicholas Nelson. Fletcher, he has the runoff. Deshane Beckford. Beckford cuts inside. Beckford and Nelson not on the same wavelength just now. The idea was right, but Leslie thought he was offside. You play to the whistle though. Heavy first touch from Hardware and it's stolen by Matali Grant. Reggae boys on the attack now. Gadiel Irving was being put under pressure by Jordan Fletcher just now. Levy plays it back to McCoy. McCoy will come out wide to Clifton Woodbine. Hardware. Lums then finds Hardware. Hardware has Barnes in support. Comes inside. Still Hardware. Hardware doesn't get the shot off, but it's Lums then. Lums then trying to find back Hardware. Still with the All Stars. Horace Ramsey. Fake. Still Ramsey. He'll go out wide. Trying to find Neville Morgan. But that one is eventually cleared by the Olympic squad. Woodbine advancing. Both teams throwing everything at it now. Searching for that elusive opening goal. And Woodbine is caught offside. Nicholas Nelson finds Jordan Fletcher. Mat Matali Grant going on a wonderful run. Crucial intervention there from McCoy. It's Irving. Has the overlapping run of Fletcher. Comes inside. Still Irving. Nelson with a nice flick. To Leonardo Gibson. Gibson shoots. Wonderful shot. Oh. That one was dipping. But it didn't dip soon enough for Leonardo Gibson. Just over the crossbar. Reggae boys coming close to breaking the deadlock. L 
Lom's then putting in the challenge on Gibson just now. Put Lom's then with the challenge on uh, Talbot rather, and he does win the throw in for his team. Nope, the throw in goes to the reggae boys, and that's it. It's the final whistle. Referee brings the match to an end here at the St. Elizabeth Technical High School football field between the under 23 Olympic squad and this St. Elizabeth All Star team. There are no goals in this match here today, but we weren't short of entertainment. There was a lot of attacking football, and these players displayed a lot of their talent. We saw attacking talent as well as defensive talent, which could account for the lack of goals here today. And it's all come to an end here. This match being played as a part of a fundraising event being put on by the JFF in aid of a charity being set up by the president to aid players who previously represented the national team who have fallen on hard times. This match also being used as a practice match, you know, in preparation for the under-23 Olympic squads 2020 Tokyo Olympic qualifying campaign, which will take part, which will proceed later in this year. The under-23 reggae boys trying to qualify for the Olympics for the first time in its history. So it will be interesting to follow their progress. That's it for our coverage here today at the St. Elizabeth Technical High School. I've been your match commentator for the day, Lance White, and the coverage is brought to you by JFF TV.